Hello everyone, Gun Chronicles here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over some of the modlets that I have created for Seven Days to Die. In total, I have created 27 modlets for the standard vanilla game, 24 of which I use all the time. Uh, now, if you don't know what the difference is between a mod and a modlet, I'll, uh, I'll explain that at the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to assume that since you're watching this that you already are familiar with mods and you know the terminology, but for those who don't, I will uh, go over that at the end. But the uh, first mod that I'm going to go over is the very first one that I created, which was my uh, Add Recipes mod. And uh, first item that we'll cover is uh, Animal Fat. You can now craft animal fat in the campfire. All you need is five pieces of rotting flesh. I made this mod and because uh, I do a lot of long playthroughs and in the course of doing that if you go through and you're harvesting all of like the corpses and the gore piles that you find out on the road and in the POIs well, you end up with a lot of extra rotting flesh doing that. Uh, the reason you want to uh, harvest those piles is mainly to get the bones so that you can use the bones to craft up glue. But uh, I got tired of having the extra rotting flesh uh, laying around and constantly having to throw it away. So I was like, there's got to be another use for this. So I had the idea of being able to take five pieces of it and you can render it down for animal fat in the campfire. Now, as you can see, uh, it takes 39 seconds to uh, craft that. And, oops, hold on, wait, my bad. What do you say? I go in here, and I take my uber goggles off, so I don't have the crafting bonus. You get like a... Uh, 35% uh, crafting time reduction when you're wearing those things. So we give you a more accurate uh, reading here now. Okay. There we go. Now now the crafting time is, is one minute for uh, getting some rotting uh, animal fat from rotting flesh. So but, Sorry about that. Uh, for me, uh, me forgetting to have my, have my uber goggles on there. <laughs> At, le at least I did remember to take them off. But, uh, like I said, you do animal fat here at the, at the campfire. And, if you go over here to chemicals, you can now also craft up acid. If you need a bottle of acid. Just need murky water, some scrap polymers, rotting flesh again, bone, and nitrate powder. The uh, drawback is it's going to take 16 minutes and 49 seconds to get you a bottle of acid this way. But you can at least get it. Uh, you can also craft acid. This, this same mod allows you to craft it over at the chemistry station as well. And it's a little faster over here. It only takes 6 minutes and 36 seconds. But you need pure mineral water scrap polymers, rotting flesh, bone, and nitrate powder. The easiest way to get acid is over at the uh, workbench, which uh, I'll just go ahead and all you need is a car battery. And it doesn't matter whether it be level one, two, three, four, five, or six, doesn't matter. But if you go here to the resources page, it's the very first one listed. And, uh, what do you say we go ahead and we craft one up? And there's the, there's the bonus. You get two bottles of acid for every car battery that you scrap. And we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll, uh, scrap this one down too. Just to show you. So, doesn't matter whether it's a level one or it's a level six, you're going to get two bottle of acids from a car battery. And also as long as we're here, uh, you may notice you can also craft a sewing kit at the workbench. 
You can also do this in your backpack inventory as well for the sewing kit. How many times have you been wanting to craft something and you just haven't found enough sewing kits in loot to be able to do it? Well, now this gives extra use and purpose for the cotton and plant fibers and takes a little bit of scrap polymers and one piece of, uh, of iron. Need the iron to be able to craft up that sewing needle. But you, if you need a sewing kit, now you can just craft one. The uh, next item that you may notice that you could do over here at the workbench now is also an engine. You can craft up an engine. How many times have you uh, made a, a generator bank or you're wanting to make your uh, uh, an extra vehicle or you're even trying to build your first vehicle? And you've been out scrapping car after car after car and the random uh, luck of the draw was just not on your side and you just was not getting the one engine that you needed. Well, this is a way to solve that problem. Just come over to the workbench. If you get some forged iron, a spring, electrical parts, mechanical parts, and some oil, you can craft up an engine. And you're, you'll be on your, on your way to getting your vehicle up and running or your generator bait going. And uh, the next items that uh, this mod lets you, gives you the ability to craft is over here at the forge. Electrical parts, some sand, lead, and clay, and you can get you some electrical parts. Same thing for mechanical parts. Some iron and clay, you can get mechanical parts. Go over to the next page and you can get some springs. Once again, just some iron and clay and you can get you some springs. And uh, the next item that you can craft using this mod is over here in the tools and traps. A beaker. You can now craft a beaker in the forge. Just take some sand, lead, and clay. So now you can make all the campfires that you want and not worry about having all the tools to place in it to make it fully functional. You can now craft the cooking pot, the cooking grill, and the beaker all at the forge. So make as many campfires as you want and uh, just go hog wild. <laughs> place them all over the place. <laughs> but the last item that this mod allows you to do is over here at the chemistry station. Go over here to the medicine tab. Vitamins. You can now craft vitamins at the chemistry station. It takes blueberries, chrysanthemum, goldenrod flour, coffee beans, and nitrate powder. 19 seconds and you get you some vitamins. Very handy, very useful item. Vitamins will uh, cure you of fatigue and also help you prevent from getting fatigue. But more importantly, if you uh, take vitamins before uh, the horde night, or if you're going to go in and clear out a POI, they will prevent you from getting infected. So very, very useful item. I would suggest having them on you and using them often. And now with uh, the ability to craft them, you can have a have a red, readily available supply of them to go. Now the uh, next mod that I'm going to cover is my uh, it gives you the ability to craft Mega Crush. Yes, everyone's favorite energy drink in the game, Mega Crush. Just come over here to the drink tab on the campfire, and here we are. Mega Crush. Takes a bottle of acid, five, ex five testosterone extracts, 15 rotting flesh, 10 gunpowders, and 15 coffee beans. And in 25 seconds, you will have you a Mega Crush. Ready to rock and roll. You can outrun anything in the game then, if you take one of these. The, uh, Next item that I'm going to go over is going to be my army truck 
loot bonanza mod to cover this one I'm going to need to be going on a little bit of a road trip here so let's head downstairs and hop on the old motorcycle I need to find me a army army truck to loot and uh, oh, I, got, I got trader Bob over here so uh, we'll just uh, head over to his place go inside and uh, we're gonna go raid his army trucks don't, don't mind me Bob just just looking around just browsing I'll, I'll be in later but here we go this is my modified version of uh, Trader Bob's place but here is the army truck now prepare yourselves because this one this mod is over the top it is super OP okay <laughs> so here we go get ready oh come on don't lag on me now open it up there we go she just had to think about it for a second ta-da here we go this is now the loot that appears in the army truck what do you say I get rid of that? I will uh, wear my Uber Uber goggles. Okay, we'll just pull all this over to my inventory. And let's take a look. Here's what you get. You get Urban Combat Volume 5. This one allows you to walk on landmines without detonating them. I've already read all these, so I'm just going to drop them as I go. Next one, Urban Combat Volume 3. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. Very useful. Pistol Pete, Volume 7. Inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. Once again, very useful book. Pistol Pete, Volume 4. 9mm weapons degrade 20% slower. Magnum Enforcer, Volume 4. Bartering with a 44 gun drawn gives you a 5% better deal. Always nice to uh, get a better deal with traders. Shotgun Messiah, Volume 1. Shotguns do 10% more damage. Shotgun Messiah, Volume 5. Shotguns have 20% less degradation. Shotgun Messiah, Volume 6. You can craft the shotgun magazine extension tube, so you can put more rounds in the pump shotgun. Automatic Weapons Handbook, Volume 1. Automatic Weapons do 10% more damage. So that's going to affect like the AK-47, the Tactical Assault Rifle, and the M60. And I believe also the Pipe Machine Gun as well. Uh, automatic Weapons, Volume 3. Automatic Weapons have 20% less degrada degradation. I'll learn to speak English one of these days and uh, enunciate things correctly. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with my speech impediment. Automatic Weapons Handbook Volume 4 Drum Magazines. You can craft the drum magazine at the workbench now. Automatic Weapons Volume 7 Craft the M60 Machine Gun. That's right. You can craft yourself up the beast of the zombie apocalypse. You can uh, dominate the Horde Knight with that thing. You also get the schematic for the magazine extension mod. You also get the schematic for the silencer as well. Same thing, schematic for the uh, military fibers. Get the schematic for the anvil. Schematic for the advanced bellows. Cut down that smelting time at the forge. And here's the one that everybody is always looking for, the oh-so-elusive and hard-to-find crucible schematic. If you're lucky, you might find it in loot, or you can find the crucible for sale at the trader, but uh, usually that's later on in the game. If you want to start getting your uh, forged steel production up and going as soon as possible, find an army truck and have this mod installed. You will get the crucible schematic and you will be set to go you also get you a, a nice little stack oops well 
I forgot I already had a partial stack. Uh, here is what you should get. It is a, a nice stack of 10,000 casino coins. You also get a pair of Uber, Uber goggles. Now, uh, this mod here for the Army Truck Loot Bonanza. In order for this modlet to work correctly, you need to also have my Uber Goggles mod installed as well. This the, the Army Truck mod is dependent upon having the Uber Goggles used in conjunction with it. If you do not have the Uber Goggles installed, this mod will not work and it will probably give you an error and lock up the game. So just be forewarned on that. You, this is a mod that requires another mod to work properly. But uh, you also get, uh, we'll come back to Uber goggles here real quick. Let's just go ahead and get the cigar out of the way. The uh, cigar boosts your strength by one. It also gives you a 10% boost on your bartering. And uh, if you use this in conjunction with the Uber goggles, this will boost your strength level up by three. But uh, let's go back to the Uber goggles here. These things, I made these, yes, they, they to replace all of the other eyewear that is in the game. These do it all. You get a 25 percent or 20 plus 25 loot bonus. You get a minus three block dig radius reduction. You get a 35 percent uh, reduction in crafting time. You get a plus 25 percent experience point gain, and you get a plus 10 heat and cold resistance if you're wearing these. And on top of all that you also get a 25% better deal at the traders while you're wearing them and it boosts all of your attributes by up by two levels which is what I have going here as you can see 9 and 10 the, since I'm wearing the goggles it, it, it's boosted me up that saves you six skill points at, across all of your attributes like here the strength with the uh, with the goggles on and the cigar you only have to sink points in up to level 7 and then it considers you up to level 10 that's on, on strength that saves you eight skill points that's eight skill points that you can spend on other things like boomstick pummel peat skull crusher sexy rex the heavy armor you can use those save skill points to get your attributes back up once you get the ones that you want up say like you wanted minor 69 minor minor 69 er excuse me for again for mispronunciation uh mother load well that's 10 points right there the if by saving those eight points you almost have enough to max these two perks out overall across the board over all five you're saving yourself 32 skill points by using the goggles now once you uh, get everything all maxed out then you can use your remaining skill points that you that you earn to finally you know max it out by you know putting points in these but why do that when you can use the goggles and the cigar and save them and still get the same benefits but uh, the other useful item that the uh, the goggles have is night vision which was really what kind of prompted me to make the goggles to begin with I was doing a lot of the newer uh, nighttime quests and you're kind of stuck normally people will alternate between three pieces of eyewear the lucky looter goggles the nerdy glasses and the night vision goggles night vision goggles you use to see when it's dark the uh, lucky looters help boost your loot and so you when you're looting you, you use those 
to hopefully get a little bit better loot out of the uh, loot containers. And then the nerdy glasses allow you to get extra experience points while you're killing zombies and doing other other things. And it also gives you a crafting bonus. It reduces the crafting time. The which is all nice and good that they do that, but the fact that you can only wear one at a time, so you're having to choose which benefit you want. And then you would keep the other two on you, which is taking up two inventory slots in your backpack. So I just got tired of trying to remember of switching out goggles and then at like on the nighttime quests, like, okay, do I want to be able to use the night vision goggles and see, but yet I'm losing out on experience points because I can't put the nerdy glasses on? Well, I got tired of dealing with all that, so I made the Uber goggles. They just basically do all of it, and I don't have to remember to change out eyewear, and I saved myself a uh, couple of inventory slots. Hey, Arlene. Take a nap, girl. I'm, uh, I'm doing a uh, explanation and tour of my mods. You can, uh, you can come back to the trader later, okay? But that covers the Uber goggles. But, uh, like I said, I already, already got a pair, so don't need those. You also get an ammo crafting bundle. This gives you all of the items. You get a pile of gunpowder, buckshot, bullet tips, bullet casings, and some paper. So you craft yourself up some ammo at the workbench. Other bundle you get, get pistol bundle. Your total random luck of the draw as to what tier pistol you get, but you do get a pistol and 100 rounds 9mm ammo. You also get an AK-47 bundle. You know, it's an army truck. You're supposed to get weapons off the army truck, right? Let's get this baby open and, whoa, hey, got lucky. Got a tier 6 on that one. But uh, once again, total random luck of the draw, what tier you get. It, with its early game, more than likely you're probably going to get a lower tier one, but hey, an AK-47 beats the heck out of the, uh, the, the pipe rifle or the pipe machine gun. And you get 100 rounds of ammo for it too. So, always nice. Next one is the pump shotgun bundle. Once again, you get pump shotgun and 100 rounds for it. So, if you find this early game, one of these trucks to loot, you're, you're going to be doing very well. Now, you also get a book bundle. This is going to give you a random luck of the draw on uh, what books you get, but you do get some books. As long as they're here, I haven't read this one. So, uh, let's use that one that one. And these two will just drop. Now here is a special one. This bundle here is a specific to the Army Truck Loot Bonanza modlet. Uh, get ready. Here's what you get. A complete set of tier 6 military armor with a bandolier mod and a helmet light and you get the military stealth boots. That is, it's tier 6 and it's these items every time when you open up that mod. But I already have a set of these so uh, I'm just going to drop this stuff. Well, hey, the boots are better than what I got on. I'll, I'll keep those. I will keep those. The uh, next bundle is my uh, Tier 6 tool loadout. Here's what you get in it. Get you 
tier 6 hunting knife, tier 6 iron pickaxe, iron fire axe, iron shovel, an impact driver, and a nail gun. All very useful items, especially if it's early game. You uh, you get fairly well equipped. Now they're not they're not steel on the on the pickaxe, the fire axe, and the shovel. You, you will still need to upgrade eventually to steel, but this is a nice s step up from the stone tools. Although you will be sacrificing a little bit as far as uh, stamina usage. But uh, the hunting knife definitely beats the bone knife. And uh, who doesn't love the impact driver and nail gun? I mean, that, 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 those are just uh, absolutely needed items in the game. And the last bundle is also a custom one that I made. It is the food bundle. Uh, you're going to be set on food with this one. There you go. You got all the fixins for making uh, tuna or the or the the fish tacos and the chili dogs. All you got to do is get you some uh, go kill you a bear or a stag or a boar or something. Get you some meat, and you can make yourself some uh, chili dogs because you also get the chili dog recipe and the fish taco recipe with this mod. So you're. Uh, all you got to do is uh, sink a point into Master Chef and get you some meat. And you got a stack of eggs here. And you can make yourself a whole bunch of bacon and eggs. And like I said, you got the, the chili and, and the salmon for making the, the fish tacos along with the, the cornmeal and the cornbread. And you even get a bonus uh, stack of hobo stew. And in total, you get 30 Yucca Juice Smoothies. And these things are quite nice to have. But that is the Army Truck Loot Bonanza mod. Like I said, it's over the top. But... Uh, the main reason I made this is because I have done so many playthroughs. I don't really find the beginning struggle uh, when you re when you first start a game out. I don't find the beginning struggle thrilling or exciting anymore. It's just kind of boring and tedious. It's like, okay, here we go again. I've been through this so many times. Well, I wanted a mod that would allow me to find something to loot where I could uh, get some really decent or good equipment to start the game off with. I'm not, you know, fighting and struggling around trying to find enough food or get a decent set of armor and weapons and, and tools. I just wanted something I could raid and uh, get a head start on the game. And uh, I chose the army truck because it's not... It's not real prevalent in the game, in the POIs, so this is one that you could install, and you'd still have to try to find an army truck, but when you do, you're going to be set, and this is the loot that you find in it every time. If you don't uh, salvage the truck out, you just leave it. If you wait for the loot respawn time to come in, and you come back to it after that time is up you will get that exact same loot again and if you do that you will be rolling in casino coins in no time because you can take the loot out of here and uh, possibly get uh, an upgrade to what you already got as far as the weapons and the uh, the tools are concerned uh, the ones you don't like take them to the trader sell them you will have a lot of money from looting one of these things so uh, it's 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 quite a useful modlet or I find it useful so if you're like me and you don't find the the struggle at the beginning of the game uh, very exciting anymore you just you're like me you think it's boring and tedious well 
this is the mod for you. Just remember, you got to have the Uber goggles uh, to go along in conjunction with it. But uh, I'm going to leave it at that because I imagine this video is already starting to get a little bit longer. And uh, I don't want to run it out too long. Uh, just the sheer number of modlets that I made, I that would be way too long of a video to do all of them in one and uh, <laughs> the, the views on it would be probably fairly abysmal so I'm just gonna break it up into a series uh, and oh yes that re just remembered uh, the difference between a mod and a modlet a mod would be considered something along the lines of uh, Darkness Falls Ravenhurst the joke mod something that completely revamps the game. Modlets are little bitty changes to the game, to the standard vanilla game, which is what most of mine are. Typically modlets are done by editing the uh, XML files, which uh, for those who don't know, XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It's like a, a glorified text file, basically. It's something that the machine or the computer can read as well as it's, it's fairly easy for a human to read as well. Uh, the actual, to do a full-blown mod, you not only need to edit the XML files, but you also need to know how to use uh, the Unity game engine that the game is built on. And to do that, uh, Unity... I believe the Unity engine uses a C++ and a C Sharp programming language, which I do not know how to use either one of those language, languages. I don't know how to, how to code in those, so uh, I have not messed around with the Unity game engine uh, because of that. Uh, I, would, uh, I would like to eventually learn how to do that, but uh, I just haven't had the time to do it. And uh, it's not something that you just, you know, learn overnight and boom, you're an expert at it. So uh, hats off to people like uh, Kane, who made Darkness Falls, for uh, giving us, you know, awesome mods like that. But uh, now, you, now you know the technical difference between a mod and a modlet. But uh, most people typically just uh, use the terms kind of intercha interchangeably. But now you know what the technical difference is between the two. But hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave a like. And as always, a subscription is always appreciated. And I'm going to leave you all with it. I'll sign off for now. And catch you all on the next one. Take it easy and have a good one.